What's up everyone, I'm Runestone Gaming and today I'm gonna teach you how to make hallways in update four. Don't forget, I stream live over on Twitch. My schedule is down below in the description. Would love to see you there. So with update four came this really cool, really new technique involving the ability to place foundations onto walkways. We will use this new technique, which is unique to update four to accomplish this build. Let's get started. Alrighty, for this build, you're going to want to have seven foundations between each piece. This will make it so it'll be easier to place the walker belt later. Uh, it'll also make it easier to place the lights in a sort of pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Um, we're gonna put on our hover pack here so we can get up and see from above. Uh, so in order to create this wall, we're going to create a walkway, and this walkway is going to be right down uh, the middle here. We're going to split this tile. In fact, there's going to be two walkways, just like you saw in the beginning uh, of the video. So how we accomplish that is we place a walkway crossing. Now, this is unique to update four, and then you can place the foundations directly on to the walkway crossing, just like so. So once again, you will place the walkway crossing on the edge. You will copy this tile. You will place it here, and then you're good to go. Um, I like the glass for the hallways, so we will use that, and then you will simply continue to place it down the middle. On the left and right hand side of these foundations, you may then also place additional glass. After you've done that, you can come back and delete the walkway and delete the starting foundation as well and delete the additional wall. And as you can see, pretty much this is it. This is this is the basis for the build here. We're going to go up one higher. We're going to put in one more level of glass. OK, we've got that one more level of glass. Now, I like this part right here. Glass at the very top and you could turn it to where the beam is in fact going to be placed down the middle where the wall is. If you were to do it without that and you were in fact going to have a place like this, it'd be crisscrossed. Now you could do it either way. I could see a strength for either way, but we're going to demo it with the glass beam running down the length of the wall. Alrighty, so we've got it running down the length of the wall. So then we're done with that part. Now we're going to put the belts in. How we do that is we place a one meter foundation in the end. We put one one on right underneath. Then we grab the conveyor pole, put that in the middle and another conveyor pole and we put that in the middle. Then we can delete the foundation. If you plan to continue this, you're gonna want another one, another base right here next to it. Um, but if you're just gonna do a short stretch, then you're gonna end right there and it's okay. Then on this end, we'll drop this. Same thing on this side. We'll be placing there and we will place here. Delete both. And once again, if you're gonna continue in this direction, place that foundation. Now you're good to go. Let's place the belt. I like, uh, you know, the highest level belt you can, but we'll do Mach 1 for demonstration purposes. Yes, I said Mach. I know that it's Mark, but that's a meme over on my channel on Twitch, which I stream live on Twitch. Did you guys know that? Stream live on Twitch over there. Uh, Sunday through Sunday, seven days a week. So I'd love to see you guys over there. So there you go. There is your Mach 1 belt. And now one last piece to this puzzle, that is the lights. So how I do like to do the lights is I delete the end of this where the seventh piece is. I grab the light, which is the wall-mounted floodlight. I drop it in the middle, and then I turn it to where it's facing down. Then I replace that foundation glass, making sure that the pole lines up with the middle. Then I grab the other wall mounted and I do the same thing on the other side, turning it all the way down to the ground. We're gonna do it on this side as well. My only problem with these floodlights is that they're a little expensive in terms of electrical cost goes. I'm hoping that maybe with a future update, they look at these again and fix it. But this is kind of expensive. So if you don't have a whole lot of power, then I would not really suggest doing this build. We could put one at the very end and then we can end it with the middle. I like crisscrossing the middle. So how I do that is they clip slightly in the middle because they're going to be facing each other because this is seven wide. And so the middle's right here. Once again, replacing the foundation there. And there you have it. You'll connect these to each other. You'll connect this to this. Whoops. You'll connect this 
to this. Then you'll connect this to this. Then you'll connect this to this. And this to this. Whoops. And this to this. I love how these new lights are able to daisy chain. I'm a big, big, big fan of that. We could drag this over to the edge. And then this can be brought down to here. We're actually going to bring that down to the power light control panel right here so we can control these lights. So as you can see here, now the lights are turned on. We're going to change that up to the purple. I really like the purple. Change the intensity down to about half. And there you have it. You have your walkways. You can really put these just about anywhere. And you can also use them even the same exact technique using the quarter pipes. So if you want to do like maybe a walkway along an edge, you do the same thing. You would place here. Then you would place your walkway. Then you would place your foundation. And you'll grab the wall, you'll place here, and you'll place here. So you now also have half pipe walkways as well. You could run this along the edge of a wall or something like that. Well, that just about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember, guys, to stream live over on Twitch. I'd love to see you guys there. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed the content, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. Keep safe. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Bye, everyone.